to really appreciate how strong, how supreme a mule deer is, is you have to get back here in the wilderness where they live. And they're, they're, they're incredible animals. They have the speed of an antelope and they, they, have, they have the feet of a mountain goat and they can go and they can survive and they can get away so many times that it makes it seem like it's almost not even real that you can actually harvest a mule deer with a bow and arrow. But it's like, you know, finally everything comes together and you put the arrow in that mule deer and he goes down and you put your hands on this velvet and it that solidifies, it makes it real and you're like, it can happen, it is real. And it's just so much respect for these animals and, and for the habitat they live in and for everything they go through. Uh, it, it's really, it's a really touching thing for me and, and I, you know, I get pretty emotional talking about it because it means so much to me. But the main reason I'm here is to connect with the wilderness, connect with these mountains, and mainly right here, put meat in my freezer. That is truly, that is me in a nutshell. I'm out here to make meat, shoot a mature animal, and enjoy all of this. And that's what I've been doing for the last 20 years, and good Lord willing, I'll do it for another 20 years. Mm -hmm.